All right, rebellious people. I'm going to scratch out one of these stuff. We're kind of covered it. So let's go to Proverbs 17. We already there. Verse 11. 17 and 11 says what? An evil man seeketh only rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. So anytime you do that, God's going to send a curse unto you. Watch the camera. God's going to send a curse unto you. Amen? Deuteronomy 9. You think you're doing something, but all you're doing is doing what the devil asks you to do, and you're setting yourself up for a curse. That's all you're doing. You just fell right into the devil's head by speaking out your mouth. You'd be better off just keeping your mouth shut. Amen. I had to learn it the hard way. I pray you don't have to go through what I went through. But maybe you've got a great call in your life and you need to go through hell. Fine, go for it. I'm trying to stop you from having to go through that. But some people are too stubborn and too proud and want to listen. I know I was. So, have a ball. Because I learned from it. You can't stop my life. Deuteronomy, chapter 9, verse 7. Remember and forget not. See? Remember and forget not. He was saying, you need to forget that. Remember and forget not. I forgive you, but I don't forget because you just told me to learn some wisdom from you. Not that I'm going to let you do that to me again. That's why I don't forget. I'm not forgetting because I want to hurt you. I'm not forgetting because I have to some wisdom that you will never be able to do that crap to me again. Amen. 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 Only one who can forget is God. Amen. Oh yeah, I forgive you. I love you, but I ain't forgetting. And I will help you, but now you got to be more accountable to me. I'll never not give you. But see, before you can come to me and say, brother, can I get it? Sure. Boom. Now it's going to be, why do you need it? Amen. Show me the paperwork while you need it. Where time you go? What time you coming back? You got to give me something I got to do. Because I ain't just letting you have it. Amen. I ain't got no problem giving it to you. But you got to show me why. Take off your helmet. Oh, I love it. You burned that bridge. Not me. Verse 7. Remember and forget not. How thou provokest the Lord. They're going to find the one. Boy, look at that pin drop. I guess y'all learning something. Amen. Now, here's the one that's going to hit all y'all in the tail. I'm going to need some bodyguards after this. <laughs> <laughs> Those who practice sexual sin. Ready? Leviticus 18. Those who practice sexual sin. Leviticus 18. Verse. I'm going to give it. Give it. Yeah. Verse 23. 1823. Neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman therefore stand before her beast to lie down thereto. It is what? Confusion. I use that scripture for one reason. Oh, I know there ain't nobody in here bestiality that I know of. No. Now they used to tell me people in the South see the sheep, but I don't know. I'm from the North, we don't have sheep. Okay? But the point I'm trying to make is this. All sexual sin brings confusion. Now, any sex outside of marriage is confusion. And watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, even sex with your hand brings confusion. It's still fornication. Hello? Well, they like that one, John. I already knew that. I, 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 I already knew that. I taught you well. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I love it, too. <laughs> Leviticus 20. Leviticus 20. And 12. <clears throat> 20 and 12. And if a man lie with a daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to what? Yeah. 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 They have wrote what? Confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. Amen. You was put to death for this. Amen. First Corinthians 14. I'm just trying to hurry up get through it. First Corinthians 14, 33. I know y'all got what the Lord has for you this evening. Are y'all going to start walking in unity, man? Amen. Are y'all going to seek it? Get away from negative people. Get away from talebearers and gossipers. Get away from those who want to sow discord, man. Anytime somebody speaks negative, change that conversation positive. And if you can't, walk away from it. 
Let them know you're not about that. Let them know you're not about that. Look at them and say, brother, you need prayer. Sister, you need prayer. Can I pray for you? Because God get ready for this wrath on your table. What they wrong? But that ain't your place. Amen. First Corinthians 1433. 1433. And it says, For God is not the author of what? Confusion. But of what? Peace. As in all churches of the saints. Don't bring confusion up in here. Amen. Amen. He's not the author of it. Go to chapter 6, first reading. All right, y'all, get the car running the van. I need somebody to start something up. First <laughs> <laughs> Corinthians chapter 6. Starting at verse 7. Ready? Verse 7. Now therefore there is utterly a fault among you. Because you go to the law one with another. Why do you not rather take wrong? Look at the question mark. Why do you not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Question mark. No, you do wrong, and you defraud not your brother. That's your brother. You defraud your brother. Verse 9. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicator, nor idolater, nor adulterer, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves of mankind, nor thieves, nor Nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Now watch this. I love what Paul said in verse 11. Watch this. And such were some of you. That's what I'm talking about. He said, you were that way too. <laughs> but you were washed. Look at what God's blessing is. But you were washed. But you were sanctified. But you were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus. And by the Spirit of our God, all things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Meat for the belly, and belly for the meat. But God shall destroy both it and them. Now, here we go. Now, the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord. And the Lord for the body. Amen. body with confusion. Amen. It's called soul type. That's why the scientists today said everybody you've been with, you carry to that next part. They understand. Amen. Verse 17. But he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. It didn't say stand here and fight. It didn't say stand here and, and you pray over it. It said run. Every time that thing come up, run. Get out of there. You It's hard to run from your hand, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it right. It's still in me. They, they, they don't understand. I know. They don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Look, verse 18. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man does is without the body. But he that committed fornication sin him against his own. Sin against his own body. There are two sexual sins in the Bible that God look at. Fornication and adultery. You know what I mean? I thought once I got divorced, I could go back to fornicate. No. If you've been married one time, every time. 
you have of God, and you are not your own. For you have been, for you are brought with faith, Christ. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Come on, I want to go to one more. I was going to show you another scripture. Come on, I got two minutes. Can I get five more minutes, y'all? Yeah. Amen. Go to Colossians chapter 3. Colossians 3. Hold on, my, 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 my tab just went out of there. There we go. Thank you. Colossians 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. 3. Colossians chapter 3, looking at uh, verse 5 through, all right, let's go to verse 5, Please, 3 and 5, ready? Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concoctions. <laughs>